Good afternoon, everyone. You need to really ask yourself how temperatures declined from 1950 to 1980 when CO2 was increasing. I guess it's not all CO2. Taking a look at the tropical cyclone pounding Oman and Yemen, streets flooded, unique anti-solar arc, taking a deeper look into the refraction of the atmosphere, blue flames emerging out of the Hawaiian crust as methane ignites, and taking a look at Wheeler's drought clock, and this video is brought to you by trueleafmarket.com, heirloom and organic seeds for any grow zone on our planet. And all the links are listed in the description box below for tonight's videos, along with links to TrueLeaf. Click that and use the code ADAPT2030. Pick this nugget here off Bob Johnson's feed. This is a picture of temperatures on our planet. Even though CO2 was increasing the temperatures from 1950 to 1980 were decreasing now you've been fed and i've been fed my whole life that co2 is driving temperature up up and up and up and it's all co2 and that's the main driver for climate and temperature but how does this 30-year window just stick out like the elephant in the room yet nobody wants to talk about it maybe you can start that conversation moving on to strange anomalies in our atmosphere tropical cyclone mikunu making landfall in Oman and Yemen. Ferocious storm because they just don't normally get cyclones there. It is very rare. Look here at satellite view, Southwest Arabian Sea. After landfall, scenes that you just don't normally see. Flooded streets, flooded rivers, people standing in disbelief trying to take images themselves because they have never seen this before. Massive flooding especially where it made landfall right in this pocket that was along the coastline where everything drained right back in the city. Emergency services are in there trying to figure out what's going on and there's so much destruction from this storm. Now speaking of different types of destruction, natural here, Hawaii volcano blue flames. This is from methane burning through seeps that are in the crust. So something has definitely changed. You know, last week I did that whole video on the magma changing composition, becoming much less viscous and just running like a river down into the sea, creating all those problems with toxic air. Now we have methane breakthroughs that are igniting into these eerie blue flames across the ground. Also cracks are opening over the entire side of the island. This is just one specific instance of these cracks. You know, you've seen the cracks also going through people's homes. And there must be at least a dozen news stories on just the different cracks that are forming around and not the fissures. These are something quite different. So you got two sets of news stories going on here. Check out the cracks and the fissures are different and the eruptions different. Something's definitely changed there as well in Hawaii. Keep an eye on that. Now back to anomalous atmospheric conditions. You might be seeing this around the newswire at the moment, a rare anti-solar arc over Oslo in Norway. Again, our atmosphere is absolutely changing, so you'll start to expect to see something like this. It almost looks like a, a spear that Zeus would be holding or something. We're actually looking at what would be prehistory. How would ancients have described this in the sky? And imagine if it persisted of plasma for days, weeks, or months. This would absolutely become legend. And you see through the iconography and history, these same shapes again and again and again. A lot of the petroglyphs even are representative of this particular shape. Now taking a deeper look into it, how these diffuse arcs form, with the anti-solar point right in the middle is what we're seeing here along the horizon. Incredibly rare to say the least. I'll wide this out one more time. You can see the river at the bottom right, and you can see that exact center point in the diagram that was shown prior to that. And staying with SOT.net, one of my favorite news sources, highly encouraged to jump over there. They have a rundown on politics as well as weather. Inside this news story was also listed this rare green flash sunset photo in Norway as well, almost exactly a month ago in April. Green flash, very nice. And I'll bring you back to Wheeler's drought clock. 
You can start to see cycles lining back up again here. The dates starting at the year 2000 at the 12 o'clock position and it rolls back in time all the way back to approximately 450 AD. Now once you start to take a look at where the major volcanic eruptions were and where the grand solar minimums were, you can really start to map out this is definitely a cycle and we're right back at that pivot point where we're coming right back into Wheeler's Drought Clock. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. The signs are definitely in our skies. If it's not rain, it's visuals.